Hi, in this video I'm going to discuss the business model with you. I'm going to give you a couple of examples and I'm also going to show you how it works. This is business model number two. Hi, in this video we're going to talk about business model number two. This is the business model. I'm going to explain to you how it works and how you can use it and what kind of companies can use it and what kind of companies are using it. So let me explain to you how it works first. When you have a concert, you have a lot of people. If you have an event, you have a lot of people. Most of the people are looking for an extra experience so they can tell their friends or it's just for themselves. And if you're a social media company, you can provide this to some people. For example, if you have a social media company, you can offer those kind of people an online experience, but also an offline experience. For example, you can offer a streaming of the event, but you can also say, okay, you've been to the event, you can buy a shirt in our online restore. I'm gonna show you how the business model work and so you can understand what I'm trying to say. This is the business model. When you read the business now you just need to remember value proposition customer segments who's going to be my partners key resources channel and costs those are the things that are really important so the cost structure and the revenue structure but we're going to come back to that later this is the important stuff you have to see it like this when you have an event and customers see something and they want it immediately they will want to buy it so your value proposition is going to be like at that moment they want something you can sell it that simple so you have to see it like this this is your value proposition and customer relationship is just yeah hey i want it here you have it is you have instant consuming from the customer they want to buy it as soon as possible and this happens most of the time when you have customers in a big events like a concert or anything some of the people at events are trying to look for an extra experience and what you could do as a social company is see how you can combine an online and an offline experience for example you can stream people that cannot meet the events can also buy online a shirt of the event during the event something that you only can get exclusive at the event so you are providing something that's like an extra experience for those kind of people so you go by this by this and then go here and those people that buy it online people that buy it offline you're going to give them an offline experience and that's also part of your value proposition so you have to see it like this if you have a concert and this is your value proposition and during the concert you have a lot of customers and you give them an online and offline experience for example they can look up the stream back they can buy a shirt um, there's a lot of things that you can do how does it work with key parts and key activities well if you're working in this business model, you need to keep in mind if you're organizing if you're an event organizer you need to work together with social media company if you're a social media company you need to work together with event organizer organizer and you need to make sure when you're selling something online that people can buy so you need to have a platform where people can buy like a web shop or anything and sometimes people want to buy it in the store if you are have an event in like a place you can make deals with certain kind of retail retailers so they can start selling you things so you create an online and an offline experience but those are partners where you need to work together your key activity is going to be like if you're a social media company you need to have a, def a software developed and it needs to work together for example with facebook and other platform where you can connect the customers together and also connect that with your web shop so you need to have a web shop or a platform where people can buy stuff and it's really important that you connect with your customer and talk to them so you can see what they really need but your key resource is going to be your software platform and how do you sell it most of the time you sell it through online channels you can see it's like facebook or instagram or any social media platform it can also be linkedin let's talk about the cost structure and the revenue 
you have to see like this if you have a social media company and you have developed the software you need to host the software so you have cost for it and you also need to pay online for ads and other things so those costs are things that you have you're asking yourself okay what's going to be a revenue how do i get revenue out of it as soon as you sell something in the in your web shop or anything else or in the retail you get commission for it and if you get commission for it those things going to be your revenue so if you're a social media company and you want to get commission for this kind of activity for this kind of service that you provide those are going to be your revenue stream so for example if there is a concept i'm a social media company i need to connect the people there with the products of the event i will connect them and for every sales i will get the commission of the sales it's that simple sometimes if they use web shop from other local company or other companies you can get a commission for that you can also get a commission for the way how they're using your um, software so you have to see it like this you get commission for everything that you sell but you also get commission for using your software and that's going to be your revenue stream if you have question about this or anything related to business model number two please let me know i will put the link down below with more information about how it works if you have question about it feel free to contact me <laughs>